so you have your vacation Bible school shirts on. Very snappy. I'm excited about Bible school. It's next Saturday, and uh, we always have a good time. Avery has her shirt on, and Liz and Terry. And, uh, so I'm looking forward to it. Glad we're, we're going to have some about Spark Studios. Now, I think during our vacation Bible school, one of the thematic teaching uh, tools is going to be making things, creating things, and uh, shaping things, painting, coloring, and, and uh, creative activities. Because the theme is about God making us and what He's making us. What He's making. She wanted to come? Come on. Come on down. She wants to come. Uh oh. So I just want to run free. I just want to run loose. I want to get loose. Can you sit still? Yeah, there's everybody, and they see you too. All right. Now, I can't paint or draw. I, I used to uh, hear the, the phrase, I can't even draw a straight line. I had a friend uh, back uh, in Ardmore years ago who said, you know, uh, I, I like to draw, and I'm good at drawing. He says, but why would anybody want to draw a straight line? And so he, he says almost all the things that you'll paint or draw doesn't have anything at all to do with, with straight lines. That's not going to work today. This is trying very hard to be a part, but it's difficult. Uh, I have learned, however, to do artwork and create things with, using computers. I can use musical instruments, and that's one of the things that I, that I participate in art with. But uh, probably I have greater uh, deftness with uh, using computers to draw things. Carter, I've got a, a video up there called it starts with the word Mickey. If you would play that, let me show you how I would draw something if I was going to draw something. If I was going to create a picture or a portrait. I would use an electronic puzzle. I had to create a photograph first. So I found one. I actually did this video many years ago. Then I put it together as a jigsaw puzzle. I know y'all are very good at putting together puzzles. Have you put together a puzzle lately? It's been a while, hasn't it? Have you done one puzzle? I did one Thursday or Friday. Really? Okay, so you're still into puzzles. Well, I, I'm not very good at scattering them out on a table. Well, I can do that, but I just don't have the patience, I think. But I, I really like doing puzzles using the computer. Well, that's beginning to look a little familiar right there, bit by bit, piece by piece. Let me know if you see somebody you recognize. Yeah, that's Mickey. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Did you say Mickey? Yeah. Is that Mickey? Swap this shape up a little bit. Taking all the pieces and all the parts. There's a mouth, an eye, a nose. This puzzle only has, I think, about 30, 30 or 40 pieces in it, so this is not very difficult. It won't take very long. But I still enjoy watching it. I've watched this probably a hundred times. I know how it's going to turn out. I know what it's going to look like when it's finished. Because I created it. God created us and He knows the way, exactly the way He wants us to turn out. And what He wants us to look like. And what He wants us to be when we grow up. God has a plan for our life. And it's like putting all the pieces together as we grow up. Just like a puzzle. God plans each and every piece of your life and of mine. Just two more pieces. Of course, that's Mickey. 
Now you might think you know who that little girl is. Let me just see if you do. Okay. You know who that little girl is? Who is that? It's your mommy. It's your, mom. <laughs> your mommy. All right, yeah, that was Carice Bain many years ago. And uh, the only way I can kind of get a picture of her with Mickey Mouse was transposing it like that. Because when we went to Disneyland, she was horrified of all those people walking around in Disney character costumes. So, uh, uh, but uh, she has grown out of that. I don't think she's afraid of Mickey Mouse anymore. Uh, come up here, Addison, just a minute. I want everybody to see your, your t-shirt. you got your Spark Studios Vacation Bible School t-shirt. Uh, i got the cameras over on this side today. And you're going on a mission trip into of this month, aren't you? All right. Very excited about that. And uh, someone made a, a contribution to your uh, mission fund today. I've got that here in my pocket. So if I give this to you, would you give it to me and tell her to keep it for you? All right, if you can make a, now it's a, we've, we're, you know, it, it, uh, it takes, takes money to make this car drive, so uh, we're finding out we've got it, uh, Addison, some khaki pants and a new Bible to take with her in a Bible case, but there are other things that she needs, and uh, as a matter of fact, it's, uh, we're, we're going to need some help. So if you'd like to uh, make a contribution to Addison's first mission trip, then uh, Please do so. We'd like to include you in that. You can certainly be helpful. We'd appreciate it. I'm happy for you. I'm very proud of you for going on this. But I've already begun to pray that you'll be safe and that God will use you during this. And it'll be a, a wonderful experience. All right? God bless you. I love you, baby. All right, y'all can go sit back with me again and give that uh, contribution to me. And we'll start. Let that be the first contribution to our mission fund. Okay, Danny, come and continue to lead us as we sing.